Checking on Money Matters this morning, the Carnival Ecstasy will return to Jacksonville early next year. And new car prices surged to a record high last month as buyers paid over sticker price. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, Jane. Good morning. Hi, Bruce and Jane. Good morning to you. And also breaking this morning, Johnson & Johnson says it will split into two separate companies. So one of the companies will focus on its very well-known brands, Band-Aids, Tylenol, things like that. The other one will focus on the pharmaceuticals, vaccines, medical devices. They believe they can get more value out of two companies rather than having them combined. Market loves it. Uh, Johnson & Johnson stock is way up and leading the Dow higher in the pre-market this morning. Now, the average new car price has soared to $46,000 transaction price for new vehicles sold in the U.S. Uh, was up by about 13 percent compared to last year. Prices were boosted by higher luxury sales and a preference for the more expensive SUVs and pickup trucks. Well, cruises are coming back to Jacksonville. Carnival's announced the Ecstasy will set sail in March. Carnival announced 17 of its ships will return to service by the end of the year and then the full fleet by the spring. And airports and roads are going to be a lot more busy this year than they were last Thanksgiving. AAA says 53.4 million people will travel for the Thanksgiving holiday. Air travel almost fully recovered from the pandemic. In fact, expect to be up 80% compared to last year. And despite higher gas prices, more people are expected to take to the road for the holiday. Well, real Christmas trees are in short supply this year. Experts say you might want to get one early. The shortages are the result of small farmers going out of business during the pandemic. Prices will likely be higher too. Live from the NASDAQ market side, I'm Jane King. Bruce and Jim, back to you.